rice, but that's what I did. I took the three cups of chicken broth, boiled it, put the rice in, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes until it was fully cooked. We'll put it in our casserole dish, which we will spray. I think this should be big enough. And this, I thought, I tried to pick out sort of different flavors and not all the same kind of flavoring. So this is our um, Asian, Asian part of the, the night. Okay. Now we're just going to put the rice, like I said, it's already cooked. You don't have to worry about being, um, cooking it uh, or keeping it hot because, uh, or cooking it ahead of time is what I was going to say. Because you can cook it, since you're heating it again, it doesn't matter. And in our, for our sauce, no button. Okay, for our sauce, we're going to put, and so we'll get rid of the rice box and the broth box. We're going to put in our, oh, pineapple, which, our pineapple juice, which I didn't drain yet. I'm going to drain it too. Wait a minute. Okay. We'll drain it into here because we need to have a cup and a quarter. So I did open it, but I didn't drain it. And when it says you don't have a cup and a quarter, that's when you fill in with the chicken broth. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, and our chicken broth. So you have, uh, the, this is the liquid for our sauce. So there's a cup. Okay. And a quarter. All right. We've got our pineapple separate. We put in some vinegar. I just used the apple cider tonight. We've got our sugar, cup of sugar. Here's some cornstarch to help it thicken up. And a little ginger, and you can use the fresh. I decided to change it up and use the powdered ginger tonight. And a little soy sauce. I believe it's two tablespoons. Okay, we're gonna mix that up and uh, heat that up till to boiling, till it thickens a little bit. And the cornstarch will help with that. Okay, and while we're doing that, we can get our peppers cut. I'm not going to do a whole lot of chopping in tonight because this is in um, actually in big pieces. Done with the cornstarch, the soy sauce. Got the pineapple on the side. We're gonna go ahead and put our chicken in here on top of the rice. And it's not cooked. So we're gonna be careful how we handle it. And I just cut it in strips. Okay. I did wash the peppers ahead of time, but we're just going to kind of cut them into chunks. And our green pepper. Okay. I'll just get this all ready while we're waiting for that to come to a boil. I like to take these little membrane things out. It just gives it a cleaner look. It doesn't hurt if you don't if you eat them, but okay.
Okay, we've got this boiling, as you can see. And it's starting to thicken up. Doesn't take too long. Boil for a couple of minutes here. I like to keep stirring just to kind of keep it moving. You don't want any lumps. Okay. And it's look you can see it's kind of getting a little bit on the clear side, which is a good sign. Get nice and shiny. Okay. I'd say that looks done. that off the heat. We'll put all of our peppers in. And our pineapple. And once we get all that kind of Stir it in there. We're just going to pour it on here. <laughs> and hopefully this is big enough. Oops. Piece of chicken tried to escape. It is. I thought this looked really nice with the um, red and green peppers and the pineapple. It might be good for what? Christmas. It would. Except that the, the red peppers by Christmas will probably be $120. <laughs> no, they're not going to be that much. Uh, it does say to cover it, doesn't it? Does it? Yes, cover with foil. Okay. okay. We'll get that in because this will take a good 45 minutes to bake. Oops. I'll get it to stay. Because again, you're starting with the chicken being raw. 